Hey folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to model, well not model, but cut this model out. This is a thick neck, it's uh, one and a half inches thick, and uh, you'll need a one and a half inch thick board to do it. This neck has got an eight degree angle on it, so I, I reduced it from ten to eight so I could fit it on a one and a half inch piece of wood which is pretty common to get um, what I did in this was export this body this body right here um, I exported it and I'll um, have it available in the uh, in the comment section below so you can download it and to, uh, try this so anyway that's what we're gonna import and create tool pass for so we can cut this thing out on our on our evolution four or five. Um, this thing is about 28 inches long, so you could cut it on a Evo uh, Evo. What is it? Evo what? I'm not sure, but there was one machine that only cuts 24 inches. Uh, Without the extension, you'd have to put this on a diagonal. And I uh, hope, hopefully, I can remember uh, to show you how to do that real quick later. So anyway, let's get started. <clears throat> um, let's open up spire. All right, now this is a spire, but you can do this because it's a single model. You can do this and desktop of pro because it's only one model so we're just going to say file new um, it's oversized 33 by 5 let's make this 1.5 uh, let's see we want double sided material surface um, bottom left Z flip this way standard fastest um, we can go a little faster. It's a pretty decent computer. So I'm just going to say OK. So that's our that's our piece of wood. That's our wood right there. So what I want to do now is just import the model. Model import import mm -hmm. STL. All right. And this is called neck eight, and eight means the degrees. So I'll just hit that, go open, and it's not even close to what we want yet. I'm gonna, I know this model's in millimeters, so I'm going to hit millimeters. Here's my piece of wood right here. We've got to get this model to fit in there. So I'm going to spin that 90, hit millimeter again, and that's um, getting close. But now I'm going to hit center of the model. And right now, that looks like it's inside that piece of wood. And I'll, I'm happy with that. Um, I could flip this thing around, hit millimeter again. I don't know why you have to do that, but you do. Um, depth below plane, that's halfway, basically. Um, it's fitting that model right in there. Uh, Overcut, we're going to come back to that when we mess with limit planes. So create both sides is important. We could overcut, but because this is a two-sided model with a big depth here and a big depth here, we're going to deal with that later. So this looks good. I'm just going to say OK. And there's our, there's our work area. There's our model. I'm going to flip this on. I want to be able to see both sides. Um, we flip this around. And we're good. Okay. So here, let's start at the top. Now let's start at the bottom. I like, I want to handle this part first because this is the most, this is, uh, this is the deep side right here. That is this. Okay, so 
the limit plane is a really important feature of this thing because on this on this model um, I've got to go all the way down to the bottom if I cut this 3d model right now and I go with um, let's say okay here and if I just whoops let's just go model this is just an example real quick it's not going to cut deep enough that's where limit planes come into play but if I if I took this limit plane all the way down and then calculated it it'll cut the whole model out <laughs> and it'll just be you know dangling it <laughs> no support so I can't do that so I've got to cut this thing in sections that's the best way I found to do it and I'm going to show you how to do that let's just get rid of this um, so now we will reset preview and begin to the strategy I know this that this is the deep part right here so I'm just going to make a square around it right there that's the deep part and I'm going to center this that way now if I go over here back to my and I'm using 3d finishing because I know that's what the final product this is how I'm I'm testing everything is with 3d finishing I am going to use a 3d roughing but I'm testing with 3D finish just so I can see the depths very easily. So right now, let's go here. And this time, I'm going to use Selected Vector. And I'm still going to use this limit plane because I've got this thing all the way down as low as it'll go. hope this is making sense. So I calculate it. Reset, preview the toolpath. And just right there is going all the way down. And that's what I want. Now, this might be a little bit too much to cut out because this takes a long time to cut. So I'm going to cut all this off right there. I'm going to move this up a little bit. And I'm gonna go into I'm gonna hit N and edit these nodes. It's just too much to cut out. I'm gonna insert a point, bend that up here. I'm gonna bring this out a little bit. Bring that out a little bit. Insert a point. And then I'm gonna right click and make it a smooth point. That way I can bend these on in. I have a little bit of overage here. Okay, hit N again. And now when I recalculate... It's going to take a little bit less time. Let's see what bit I'm using. Ball nose, okay. So that's taking care of that and that. And I might be able to bring this in a little bit. I'm just going to use note edit. We don't need to be cutting all this stuff. There we go. Okay, but... Alright, one more. One more. 
Reset preview, preview, visible toolpath. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to rename this Limit Plane. Limit. I'm going to call it Limit Middle. Middle Limit Plane. All right. So let's go back here. So now I want to do another square, rectangle rather, right here. A little overlap is okay. And we can center that too. That's good enough. And then do the same thing over here. Just a little over overlap is is good. All right, and now I'm going to hit no N for node edit. Insert a point, smooth point. Just drag it in there. Move that right there. Insert a point. And I'm right clicking everything. Put that right in there. All right. <laughs> and all right, so now 3D finish middle. Okay. And now we have these two to deal with. So I'm going to create another limit plane. I'm just going to duplicate. Oops, I want to use this one. I'll just call this ends. And I'm going to put this, I just want this to go halfway. So that halfway is zero. So right now I'm going to cut this off and leave that one on. And I'm create 3D finish for this and this and then I've got this one selected selected vector then calculate <clears throat> preview visible okay notice now it didn't go all the way down <clears throat> it went halfway and you can see right here look down here you'll see is uh, zero a uh, a depth of zero here on Z. And this goes about 0 0.72, about halfway. This goes almost all all the way. Okay. Now we, we this poses a problem. <clears throat> when we cut the other side of this, it's gonna just we, we've got to have something to hold this thing in place. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add these these um all right, let me read that middle, oh, close, ready, finish, ends. I just want to make sure I get that done. But what, what the problem is, is this is eventually going to get cut all the way out. This is going to get cut all the way out. So we need to add tabs in there. And not profile tabs, but actual clip art tabs. So we're just going to throw this in here, turn it, doesn't have to be perfect, and do the same thing over here. Now I'm going to put it right in the center, even though I, I'm going to mess this up, I don't care because I want to sand that out anyway. 
that's going to be right there. Now, if I recalculate all these, that's going to include those tabs. Whoops. We got, all right, middle. We want middle. Calculate. All right, we want ends. Ends. Calculate. Reset preview. Preview all tab. <clears throat> See, now this thing has got those tabs built in. This one is needs to come up. All right, so let's identify which that one is. It's this one. So we got to make the we got to make the base high, base height, almost all the way up. Okay. So ends calculate reset preview all toolpaths. Well, we made it come up a little bit too high. Oops, which one was it? It was this one. Should have renamed it too. Okay, we're going to put this um, circular head stock. That's too much. Uh, let's take it down about right here. That's the cool thing about these Vetric products. You can just <clears throat> guess on a lot of stuff. So, we're at... Ends. Calculate. Reset. Preview all toolpaths. And there we go. That's about right. Alright, so what we've got so far is, and again, you can look right here and see our depths. Right here, it's right at half. Right here, it's almost all the way down. Right here, it's still at half. So that side's basically done. That's the tough side. Now the other side... Let's switch. So now we're on the back side. Now what we can do, we can go back over to the other side and just copy these. Copy these three vectors to the other side. So now when we flip over, there they are. Because we're going to have to do something very similar to this side. Now with this, I'm probably going to just um, move this, go back to, to the node edit, and just move this up here. So I want to get that. Oh, a little bit further. Right there. Just so I see that, that blend, that, that contrast. I'm going to insert a point here, right click, just move this up, oh, not that much, and I can move this down, Insert a point here. Move that down in there. I can 
get that a little closer if I want. Something like that. Alright, and this one. Uh, I don't need, but I don't need all that. So I'm just going to hit in. Whoops, I hit in. <laughs> and Whoops. Go back to node edit and just move these down here. Note note edit is great. You gotta, gotta love that. Because we know that this surface is all the same. So we're gonna have head and neck. Let's um check this one out. Let's move this up just a hair. We can move that down. We got way too much. Do you get the idea? Okay. So now we're going to have two tool paths. <clears throat> this one's got to be deeper than that one for sure. But this one, uh, well, actually, actually, we can, we need to, we need to do this. Let's just move us back to here. Uh, right here. Whoops. Just like on the last one. Because we are definitely not, we're going to move it right there. We're definitely going to need to make this one go halfway. So we do need three. Well, basically the same as we had, so I probably could have left it the same. <clears throat> so we're going to have this and this. And we're going to create 3D finish. And let's just see what happens. Calculate. Okay, cool. All right. It definitely needs to go a little deeper. This needs to be a little bit deeper. Calculate. Okay, that's looking great. <laughs> but we need to put our our tabs in. I mean, yeah, put our tabs in. But that's looking good. And we didn't go all the way down. We don't need to cut that much. So let's go back over here. <clears throat> And and what we could do, we could just take these tabs copy to the other side, copy to the other side. Okay, there they are. And let's recalculate. Okay, that one needs to go down. Let's get out of here. Yep. Let's take this basically the op, about three there. Let's see what happens. Calculate. Okay, maybe a little bit further down. Yeah, just a little bit. Point. There we go. Refinish, calculate. There we go. So we now have that in good shape. This one, this one over here is probably going to be fine. 
because it's got it on the other side. Let's look at the other side. Preview all tool paths on this side. Okay, so we got a nice chunk there. So that one, that one's looking good. Well, I tell you what. Let's make it a little bit taller. That's the headstock heel. And we're just going to make this a little bit taller. About a quarter inch taller. Okay, great. So now, recalculate, recalculate this. And reset. Let's look at the other side. Preview all tool paths. Okay, now let's flip it over and preview what we have over here. Great. So everything's still together. Now we want to do the middle. And this one we don't have to do deep at all because 3D finish. Head and heel. Go back to 2D. Let's create a new one. And we're going to limit planes. Head and heel. We're just going to copy this, duplicate it. We're going to call this middle. And this one is going to be very shallow. it's cut out and pretty minimal amount of time and so we would just you know cut that with a hacksaw blade or something now we basically have to redo these with the roughing tool pad too and <clears throat> to do that you would just make sure that the right planes are selected when you calculate the selected vectors. So, so let's go back to this side. What do I mean by that? This is middle, so I want middle selected, just like that. Okay. So now I'm going to create the roughing tool path. Selected vectors, middle. All right, now I'll create another one. Three D roughing. I'm going to select this. Calculate. All right. So this is three D roughing ends. This is three roughing middle. All right. Reset preview, and we're going to move these up. So we want those to go first. 
Reset, preview all tool paths. I don't think it roughing worked. 3D roughing metal. Oh, all right, let's hit calculate. Preset, preview visible. Okay, there it goes. All right, good. 3D finish metal. All right, great. 3D roughing ends. Three finish ends. Okay, that looks good. Now we're going to create the tool paths on the other side. All right. So we want to go roughing, selected vectors. We want which one is this? 3D roughing. It doesn't matter. We'll just go metal. And we, the metal selected here. Calculate. Preview visible. Okay. Now we want to do 3D roughing. 3D roughing ends. Heads and heel. Three D roughing. Heads and heel, and then three D finish. Heads and heel. And that's got it. Did we do the other side? Yeah. So that's a long process, but I mean, it, it, you can get results. And I like to go about 0.04 or 0.05 deep. Um, and I go cut with the grain. It seems to cut a lot faster. <clears throat> it takes a long time, but because um, you don't want to push these Evos too hard. But I like the way uh, this tool path is set up. Uh, because it gives you a lot of work area. You're not doing any profiles, which, you know, profiles can, with this kind of depth, can really get cause big problems. This is the safe, safest method. It's, it's the slowest method, but it's safe. And what I'll do is I'll just, I'll end up sanding this whole thing out to a nice round curve right here. And then I'll later come in and, you know, draw some holes in here. You can find some patterns somewhere. This is sort of patterned off a PRS guitar. So, um, 3D view. And if we, what we could do real quick is just do a, um, you know, take this, this model, and then go to, and just put a, this, just to, just to see what it's going to look like. Do a profile path outside, and we're going to go Z deep. Whoops, i got to select it. Preview visible. And that way we can cut it out and just see what it's going to look like. And what you could do is just take that right here. And you could just, you know, delete all these. And stick a, and a smooth point in here.
and then redo your profile. And that's what maybe it'll end up looking like. Something like that. And put six holes. Uh, okay, so why is this different right here? Look at that. Let's figure out why. Okay, both of those are different. Do we do a middle one? Okay, let's just reset it. Okay, there we go. Not sure why that happened. All right, let's, let's flip it over. Preview this side too. Then you'd have to cut channels in here for the fretboard. I mean, for the truss rod. You know, you'd end up, you know, making a a uh, something like this real quick. About like this. Let me just throw something in there real quick. And it would be a little bigger down here. Probably end up going about right there. You have to buy your truss rod first. And then you just cut a pocket. We'll go about 0.3. Whoop, wrong side. <laughs> no, I didn't. Just turned over. Something like that. Might be a little bit deeper. But you don't want to go too deep. Something like that. And then there's the the, the, the fretboard. This one would actually be a little bit deeper. What was this one? Four or five. Create another pocket. Say point five. That would be a little deeper. There you go. I'm going to put some links on here from how I made this model. I made this in Fusion 360. A lot of steps. Um, but it's doable. I mean, I didn't know anything about all this stuff at first. It's been four years, a little over four years, and didn't have any experience with any of this. But Austin Shan or Shaner, I don't know how do you say it, but uh, he's got a great tutorial. I'll put that link up too. All right, so um, just text me. I'll, I'll put a link to my uh, Facebook Messenger on here too if you have any questions. All right, folks. Well, thanks for watching.